Hey guys, Apple has officially released iOS 11.3 beta 2 to register developers today. You can get your hands on it, of course, right now. I have links down in the description below. Public beta testers, I haven't seen this be rolled out just yet for you guys, but you can expect this maybe later today or at the latest tomorrow. Now, the software is going to come in at around 300 to 400 megabytes. I use see two gigabytes here because I did use iTunes to restore because at first the over the air updates were not rolling out. So I did restore with iTunes and it gave me the entire size of the software. But if you're updating from beta 1 to beta 2, like this iPhone 7 here, you're going to see 300 to 400 megabytes. Now, something a little interesting, iPod Touch 6th generation not supported by beta 2 on iOS 11.3. Apple says update is coming uh, soon for that particular device. Now, there's a brand new feature in iOS 11.3, and it's the one that I want to emphasize the most. I'll give you guys a follow-up video with more additional new features and a more in-depth look at iOS 11.3 beta 2. But I want to talk about a feature that I think needs this video alone and that's going to be battery health as you can see here the brand new feature is in beta and apple promised it and they're delivering with beta 2. so the first on top here you'll see that the uh, apple gives you an explanation phones uh, batteries degrade within time pretty much losing their capacity to uh, effectively retain charge and they become less effective and you can click on the learn more tab and it gives you more information on how lithium batteries uh, work and how they perform depending on the age the second tab will be the capacity right here it says maximum capacity of course being an iphone 10 this is going to have a hundred percent battery capacity and everything should be working uh, fine but a lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage between charge of course if you have an older iphone with say battery capacity at 60 percent that's going to probably degrade the performance on your device and it's going to give you here what the performance is and as you see here peak performance capacity is available because the battery is of course 100 this iphone 10 but i'm also updating all these other devices to see how the battery is performing on these as well with ios 11.3 i like the fact that apple gave us the ability to see what the battery uh, percentage is of course being 100 and then it gives you a description right here it says your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance so it means that this device shouldn't have any performance degrading with the battery on this device so I'm going to go ahead and install the software on these other iPhones as well. I'm going to give you guys a follow-up video, a more detailed video, but I wanted to share that brand new feature because I thought it, it required a video on its own so you guys I can really see what's coming in the future from Apple and how much information is going to be provided, which is I think it's great that we're getting this much information about what's happening inside our phone as much as from the outside of the phone. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.